we must save the new Space Force. Our security depends on it. Hello, I'm Steve Forbes, and this is What's Ahead, where you get the insights you need to better navigate this turbulent world. Powerful far-left groups are pressuring Joe Biden to kill the NASA Space Force, which is about to celebrate its first birthday. They sent a letter to the next president and his defense transition team, harumphing that our newest branch of the military is not needed. These are the same kind of groups and organizations that want to emasculate our police departments and, in spirit, the type of organizations that opposed the development of air power 100 years ago in the theory that battleships were unsinkable from air attacks. Biden would make a catastrophic mistake to cave into their demands, even though some Democrats think this would be an easy way to appease the party's militant socialist wing. Such a move would put our very survival in jeopardy. Here's why. Space is no longer the benign area it was when we sent a man to the moon over 50 years ago. Russia and China are treating space as a cockpit of power politics and taking disturbingly aggressive actions. The Chinese believe that technological and military dominance in space will put America's earth and sky-bound armed forces and weapons at their mercy. To make that point, several years ago, Beijing destroyed one of their satellites with a missile, just so we got the point. Russia recently has been guilty of space incidents with their satellites against ours that, had they involved naval vessels here, would have been considered extremely provocative acts. Make no mistake, America and the world economy are utterly dependent on the thousands of satellites now orbiting the Earth. From your clock, whose timer is set to a satellite, to our ATMs, gasoline pumps, direction finders, not to mention our communication systems, and so much else. The Space Force manages the GPS satellites, and they are vulnerable. As a former Air Force secretary put it, we built a glass house before we knew about stones. No surprise, China and Russia are developing directed energy and kinetic destruction of U.S. space assets. Clearly, we need to replace current satellites with less vulnerable ones, and in the meantime, create defensive systems for the critical existing ones. One of the missions of the Space Force is to work with our allies to develop norms of behavior in space, rules of the road, so to speak. The Space Force is part of the Air Force, just as the Marines are part of the Navy Department. Air Force Secretary Barbara Barrett sums up the situation well. Quote, We are building the U.S. Space Force to protect the free and benevolent use of that ultimate frontier, the ultimate high ground, space. I'm Steve Forbes. Thanks for listening. Do send in your comments and suggestions, and I look forward to being with you soon again.